cut off so I had to make another plate because I thought the, the film was well the camera was still going on and it wasn't and so I ate most of the broccoli it was so good I ate it all but I did plate another I was able to plate another plate just to show you just to show you how beautiful this is the thing with bird blanc you have to serve it right away because it starts to separate the, the butter starts to clarify as you'll see here it's a little oily but when you when the liquids are hot you want to throw that butter in right away after you saute your onions after you saute your um, your uh, your mushrooms in your garlic and you saute that and you pour in your liquid your wine and it's so incredible and then you heat it up and it's kind of simmering you cut it off and then you just throw those uh, tablets of butter in them and and, it, and and depending on how you want that butter uh, how thick you want the the burnt blanc um, you you want to just um, go ahead and um, put as much butter as you want but no more than a couple tablespoons that's all you need uh, for what I use I use probably what a half a uh, half of um, a uh, cup of the of the wine just so I can get the juices from the um, pan here but after the potatoes were um, done and I put the potatoes and I plated it I had an, as you seen earlier I had a big nice pile of broccoli <laughs> and it was so good and I just kept gabbing and you were shut off so anyways I'm glad most of it was, but so this is part two. So I wanted you to see that and, and how beautiful this fish, this, this fish is so beautiful. It's so flaky that that um, cod, you cannot go wrong with cod. I like the Alaskan cod. And so when I saw this black cod, I said, oh, I have to get it because it brought some really nice memories when I was um, cooking with um, some people in my culinary class. So anyways. You see those beautiful chunks of uh, mushroom, and those potatoes are just beautiful. They um, they're a little bit red, but you know, if you want to use green um, bell peppers, that's even better. But it's so creamy and buttery, of course. And then, of course, the capers are in the um, the uh, uh, the mushroom bourbon. And, and brought some acidity in there so it kind of blended everything together just to kind of give you give you a little sample here <laughs> and it's really really good you can taste a little bit of the crunchiness of the um, bell pepper which is out of this world I love it and with the um, with the mushrooms and I use a cremini's and then the broccoli, all with the pecan. You have a wonderful meal with this right here. And it's a dinner for two. It's romantic. It's nice. And of course, the rest of the wine, you have to give yourself a little bit of a, you know, salute there. I really enjoyed doing this for you, and I hope you try it. It's really easy. Fish is real easy. It only takes like what? 10 minutes. I mean to cook a piece of fish. But you want to keep that fawn, that beautiful fawn on the bottom. So you know I use the coconut oil and I use the butter. And I season the fish before I dropped it in there. Uh, and you know what? You can always um, put the, uh, and then I put the lemon on it. The lemon just does something. I love the lemon. It cuts all that fishiness and it brings the flavor of the fish, so it kind of enhances it, and it just makes it taste absolutely delicious, and I'm gonna have some wine right now. <laughs> mm. Thank you for coming to see Fun Cooking with Mary. Don't forget my other videos, and I have tons of them. Just click on the, if you go to my blog, uh, Mary's cooking blog, Fun Cooking with Mary, hot, hot blog on, on, if you Google me, you'll find me, and it's on the right side, and I'll have all the recipes down there, um, I, I take some time, and I tell, share some stories, 
and then I'll have my recipe and my instructions and then you'll have the video right on the blog so that's kind of cool and then you can just click on the right lower side of the blog and you can click all the recipes that I posted so thanks again for coming and I'll see you next time.